Yeah. What's up, guys? Um, I wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday, which might sound like a very trivial thing, um, but I think it's it's very interesting, and it is that Ricky and I had a long, real conversation, and what I mean by that is not having a phone on the table not looking on the phone and checking Instagram and checking messages while having the conversation and just like putting the phone away and just talking. And I realized that I'm pretty sure that was the first time we ever did that. And it was a very casual conversation. Like it wasn't like a deep fucking philosophical conversation about the universe or whatever. It was just a regular conversation, but I really felt like I was there with them and you know, and it's kind of sad, I guess, that it was the first time, but it's also, it's sad if you realize it and don't do anything about it, so. And that was actually something that I realized. I was on a date with Anastasia on Saturday, and we were out grabbing, gra went to an event first, and then we grabbed, you know, dinner together, and then we went out into the city a bit, and um, I didn't look at my phone once during the time put it away, I had it in my pocket in airplane mode, and I think during six hours, it was a long date. Six hours, I didn't look at it once, which was amazing. But I also realized when we were out, I was looking at all the people in the restaurants and like people on a date, people with their partners, families grabbing dinner, and obviously like Ubud is like a lot of tourists, so a lot of these people are actually on holiday, so they should be even, even more so enjoying, you know, their time. Um, and like 80% of the people were staring at their phone instead of talking with the people or at least like having their, their phone while having the conversation. Like having a conversation at the same time, having the phone in their hand and like checking stuff or like having it on the table and if messages came in, just randomly checking the messages and it's stupid. We're addicted. And um, I actually watched the Simon Sinek video yesterday and it made things so clear that if you're out with friends and you're meeting people, friends in real life, and while you're out with your real friends, you're texting with people, with friends that are not there, how retarded is that? Like you are with friends right now in real life and you don't interact with them or you don't talk to them because you're texting with other friends of online well did i say online before offline and online we are so addicted to it and um just having the phone on the table while talking is a distraction having your phone face up and fucking notifications and sounds coming in it's a distraction like, and also what I realized, like, what Simon Sinek said is we are constantly engaging our brains because if we always have our phone there, even if we are with someone at a restaurant, you know, and we agree to, okay, let's put our phones away, we are going to talk now, we're going to have a conversation and just have our phones in our pockets and leave them there. Once the, and, and I do that too, once the other person for example, goes to the bathroom or like, I don't know, goes and orders something, what do we do with those th extra 30 seconds that, that we now have or the extra one minute that we now have? We take out our phones and answer a couple of messages. And it's just like Simon Sinek said, that's taken away these random small pockets of time where we're not engaging our brains. And those are the moments where ideas happen where you have, in, where inspiration hits, where innovation happens. You know, that's why we have fucking good ideas when we go to the bathroom or the toilet. Because it's like, we're doing something, but we're not engaging our brains, and that's when random thoughts happen. And they don't happen every time, like not every time you, you, you're in the shower, you have a fucking deep philosophical inspiration about how the universe works. But like sometimes you do, we all know that moment. And we're not allowing ourselves anymore to have that moment because we're constantly filling these small, small pieces of time with engaging and looking at content on Instagram or messaging people. 
And I personally decided that I wanna do my best to try to not do that anymore. And so if I'm with a person, number one, put my phone away, put it in airplane mode, focus on that person, and then also allowing myself to have these moments again where I'm not engaging. Like, think about this, eating your food while not doing anything else except eating the food. Fucking mind blowing. I mean, maybe you guys are better than me at that, but like for me, that idea sounded crazy. Um, I always did something. Like either I was directly working and I had my, I ate my food while, while working in front of the laptop, doing emails or editing a video or whatever. And even if I had like free time and off time and I knew I had all my work done, I would listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video or look at some content on Instagram, like do something because I felt like I couldn't do nothing. Like I couldn't just eat. Like how fucking unproductive is that? Like that's a waste of time. Just eating? I could be learning something on YouTube right now. And it's just like, no, you're not allowing yourself to process things that happen during the day. You're not allowing yourself to disengage from from the all the impressions that you um, collected during the day and to actually generate and come up with new things and introspect and reflect and just feel into yourself. I had a conversation with Anastasia a couple of days ago and, and um, she asked me how I feel. And I said, I don't know, because I'm not even taking the time to figure out how I'm feeling. I don't know how I'm feeling because I don't have, when do I think about, like I'm, I'm pretty happy, I guess. I'm like, I'm doing good, I'm not depressed, I'm not sad, I'm not crying. But I also don't really understand the nuances of what's happening internally because I never just take the time to just sit and feel and acknowledge, you know, what's happening down there. And I know that sounds kind of woo woo, whatever-ish, but it's true, like just, don't constantly engage. It's crazy what can happen from that. So that's that's kind of my personal goal um, for the next, I mean forever basically, but really consciously focusing on that um, for the next couple of weeks to engage when I'm engaging with people, put the phone away, and also allowing myself to have these small pockets of time to just be with myself and be with my thoughts. I know that sounds scary, I know it also sounds scary to have a conversation with someone, not having a phone there, and then imagine you run out of things to talk about. Awkward silence. If you have a phone there, that's easy. You just grab your phone, you quickly do something on your phone so you have something and you, you can escape this awkward silence of like, shit, we don't have anything to talk about right now. But if you don't have it, like, then you, you allow yourself to experience the awkwardness of realizing, you know, like, let's find a new topic to talk about. What should we be talking about? What could I ask him? What do I want to know about that person? What's going on in their life? You know, and obviously I'm talking from a very high horse here. These are all aspirations that I'm trying to implement into my life now. Um, but yeah, wanted to talk about this. Obviously, let me know. Um, I'd love to kind of start a discussion around this. So, you know, if you guys actually don't do anything during eating and just eat, that's impressive. Or, you know, how you interact with your friends, like do you put your phone away? Do you have it in airplane mode? Do you always have to have it around? Um, I'd love to know. And yeah, drop a comment down below and then see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate, love But why not? Holy shit, I just want